Hi guys, it's Nima again. Now we're gonna talk about French press, which is the closest culture to Turkish coffee. Now, I wanted to talk about French press with you. It's a very easy type of uh, making coffee, brewing coffee. And um, the, basically the differences between all this type of different brewing from Turkish coffee to French press, Chemex, is that uh, the amount of water, the heat, the coffee, the speed of making it changes and it also has some, uh, how can I say, very tiny effect on the taste. But the more heat we use, the more you say aroma, for example, the, the scent of the coffee and some of the taste, we will kill that, the more heat we use. So uh, the best ones to keep the taste and the scent and everything you need, all the, you know, the notes of the coffee is to first use French press, it gives you the maximum taste, then is V60 and Chemex. And filter machine is also okay, but filter machine, uh, the water is like super boiling temperature, you know, that, that's also too much heat. And that's why like for Turkish coffee, since we have, you know, direct heat over it, uh, we use blonde roasted coffee because we're killing a lot of that caffeine and the scent, aroma, taste, notes and whatever that's going on in that coffee. All right, so I don't want to waste your time much over this. It's very easy. We will just measure how much coffee we put. And for this one, since the water and the coffee stays together, I recommend you for this race to keep it even lower, 16, because while you have the coffee inside of there, it's still, you know, producing, giving more taste, more taste. It might get a little bit too intense. I put 35 gram, grams of coffee in here and the funny thing is that you see just this French press and you just pour the water you know in it but please don't do that again we need to brew it so let me just see how much I need again I have to calculate it all right we're gonna need around 550 And I will do the same thing again because if we don't do the blooming part, you're not gonna have that uh, cream coming over the top. All right, still we got bubbles around there. I'm gonna shake it a little bit. As you can see, whoop, the cream came up just because I just shook the lid a little bit. I'll do it one more time. All right, I've put hundred and twenty-two grams of water. All right, now I will add the rest. Here you don't need, necessarily, you don't need to do it slowly. You can do it however you like, but I don't know. I, I always tend to do, uh, you know, the coffee process slow. And it's always the same, even in the farm, harvesting, processing, fermentation. If each process happens, you know, as slow as possible, I mean, longer hours for each section. At the end, you're gonna have a better cup. So as you can see, there's really good cream on top of that, which is actually hard to see 
when you order French press, I mean French coffee outside, most of the time you don't see any crema on top of it. And that's also because they just, you know, pour the water over the coffee. And we're good. Okay. Now, you just put the cap on. You're never gonna press it. Just keep it there, you know. Like in Turkish, you say dam. We need to get the dam. All right, and it takes five minutes. So when you do this, you can prepare your tray. And uh, with French press, I mean with all of it, yes, but I don't know why with French press, please be careful. You need to use sugar, candy, sweets, something a little bit because it might make you feel a little bit weird, uncomfortable after that as your blood pressure drops. And also French people put a very small pitcher, it's actually very cute, of milk next to it. So as you pour your drink, you can add a little bit of milk to it also. And that's it. We just have to wait five minutes for this one. All right, guys, now the five minutes is over. And as you can see, the coffee is actually looks you know more i mean one color you cannot see what is going on inside and when it finishes just slowly you know literally everything must be done slowly you just press it down it fills the red and then you just pour the coffee that's it if you want you can have sweets with it i I like strongly recommend that please have a small uh, piece of chocolate with it if you want you can add uh, milk to it also as French people do they add a little bit of milk to it but still is up to you whatever you like and let's see what have we made oh, this one is more a little bit sour actually taste to it oh, too hot too hot still all right, bon appétit.